Hey you, give me with that. I'll show you. Yeah, give me good. No, it's not good enough. Here, like this. Yeah, now you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you. Welcome to day 60 of 100 Days of Making Comics. I am Gazbot, the robot host of this program. I am from the future. I am super advanced. Why do I speak this way and move this way? I became an Italian robot. I'm a horrible stereotype that can't even keep up on my accent. What? Wow, that was bizarre. Thankfully, it's over. I'm Gazbot. This is 100 Days of Making Comics and Day 60. As for spoken, forewarned, forewarned. You've been warned four times. Although it was only, well, uh, whatever. So, today is Friday. End of the week, as it were. Um, and I did get some work done uh, on the hard, not a ton. What did I do with my day? Well, I finished the coloring on that first page of the coloring job I had mentioned before. Uh, and I can now say that it is for a comic company called Genuine Comics. And the book I'm working on is called Earthling. Um, and they're both, uh, I'll put the notes in the, the show, I'll put the notes in the show, uh, show and jump, show and jump. I'll put the notes, oh my God. I should cut this out, but I want a record of how brain messed up I am. I shall put those links to Genuine Comics and Earthling, which is the comic published by them, in where? The show notes! <laughs> Alright, the show notes will have them. Uh, and so uh, I was coloring over the pencilist without the anchor, uh, and the pencilist, I'm gonna look up his name because I keep forgetting, it's, uh, I'm probably mispronouncing this, Bien Flores? Um, B-I-E-N Flores. Anyway, I'll put a link to his art down below. His stuff is really nice. Uh, I, I, it was nice to work over it. Uh, it's a different style than mine, but very good. Very good. <laughs> very well done. Uh, and he's worked on a lot of cool stuff. Uh, he's an, he has an animation background too, but much more expansive than mine. He had worked on some Disney direct video sequels and things like that. Uh, and I, ch I chatted with him a little bit after the page was posted on their site. Uh, and he seems like a cool guy. Uh, speaking of which, because they posted on our site and I asked, uh, it's okay, I could share it with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put up first the pencils that I was given. And then here's my color job. So there's that. Uh, it was a little bit challenging doing it over pencils, and it probably took a longer, a little longer than it should have. But hopefully, uh, now that the the writer slash publisher has given me the go ahead and paid me for this page, I'm going to go ahead and do seven more. Um, I'm not doing the whole book. I, I guess I'm picking up where another artist left off, or whatever, another colorist, I should say. Well, not that the colorist is an artist. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, I'll be doing eight pages total, and I guess that'll finish up this book. Um, so. I'm going to be doing those and I, I, hopefully they'll go a little quicker now that I've kind of figured out how I'm going to do the coloring with the pencils and also uh, I could reference the page I already did to just pick the same colors for the walls and the, the shirts and things like that. It's, there, there's less decision making there. Um, okay, so that was part of my day. Also, uh, I spent a lot of time dealing with uh, credit card fraud because people are getting really tricky and it's harder and harder to steal their credit card numbers. No. I think that uh, my joint credit card with Q, the number seems to have been pilfered and used at a Rite Aid uh, in a town, I think it was San Mateo, which is like a couple hours north of me. Uh, and this happened a couple days ago uh, on a day when I know I wasn't up there and we don't normally go to Rite Aid anyway. And uh, But what's funny is I tried to use my credit card and it wouldn't work. And, and so that's why I called my company and they said, oh, well, We've been trying to email you because there was this fraud suspect thing, so we stopped your credit card. And I was like, oh, well, that's weird. Um, but what's even weirder is that I used it last night at Target to buy like $100 worth of groceries and stuff. But then today when I tried to use it, they're like, uh, you know, like I could have been fraud at Target. Like if they saw this a few days ago, so that's kind of weird. But I guess they said something like, since I've shopped at Target before, they have some whole metric to figure it out. I don't know. I, I'm from America. I don't understand the metric system. Ha 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 ha, that's a little joke. Anyway, the, uh, the perpetrator apparently tried to charge 200 and something dollars worth of stuff at Rite Aid that I've never been to a couple hours north of me. So that's what triggered their flag. But what's funny is they're like, oh yeah, we, we're looking out for you. 
But right around the same time, either right before or right after, he successful. I say he, it could be a girl. They successfully uh, charged 500 something dollars. So basically, they, the 500 that got charged are like, well, I guess that was your purchase. Uh, but they tried to do 200, it didn't work. So we're looking out for you. So anyway, we're contesting the 500 and hopefully that'll be taken off. Um, but I had to chuck out my credit cards and be on hold forever. And now we got new ones coming. And that took way longer than it should have. And it, it was annoying that I had to deal with that. Uh, luckily, I don't think we're going to be out, of any, out any money. But I, it still cost me time that I wish I didn't have to spend. Um, there's some other junk that I don't remember, so it couldn't have been that important. Uh, and then I cooked some dinner. Q came home. We did some stuff. And then I worked on the horror. Uh, I did not do a process video. I did about 45 minutes. Uh, and again, a slow going page. Um, I'm working on page six roughs. Um, I'll go ahead and put up the panel um, in a second. I don't have a process rough. I only pretty much got one panel done and I just barely started the next panel. And these, I started with the bottom two because they seemed like they'd be the easiest. <laughs> well, maybe not the easiest, but mediocre easiness. Um, but I kept kind of fiddling with it and like it's Boots and there's this thug behind her. And I wasn't really happy with Boots' face and I'm still not, but I have to keep reminding myself, this is just a rough, you'll redraw it later, you know. Um, and I'm torn because, uh, it's funny, I've said this before, and I've been watching, uh, I've been catching up on a lot of uh, Scott Circlin's videos of uh, 100 Days of Comics, I'll put that here. Uh, Cirkworks, I'll put it in the show notes too. Uh, and a lot of what he's going through, or went through already, uh, parallels what I'm going through, or what I will be going through. Like, I feel like we're, like, on parallel, you know, he's a little bit ahead of me, or a little behind me, or something. Just, like, a lot of the things he's talked about writing. Uh, and one of the things he talked about, which is what I was trying to get to right here, was the idea of redrawing things a hundred times and trying to make it perfect uh, and at some point how you have to just let it go otherwise you're not gonna have a finished product and uh, he he was saying a, a quote I've sort of said that I don't remember where I heard it but I sort of misquoted paraphrased it as saying that uh, finished is better than perfect or done is better than perfect um, and he said a similar thing where he was paraphrasing couldn't remember how it went and he said, perfect is the enemy of done, I believe is what he said. Maybe, maybe I'm misquoting his misquote. But anyway, it's basically the same concept. So I thought that was funny uh, that we're both dealing with the same thing. And uh, this is a perfect example where I spent 45 minutes on this one panel because I redrew boots like 15 times. Um, but meanwhile, I drew the thug behind her once and it was done. But again, he's like a minor character. He's kind of a big hulking guy. You know, it, 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 there's not as much delicateness to his features. I don't have to worry about keeping him on model. He's not the main character. So maybe that's why I'm more precious with her. But also, um, I, I'm trying to hit the balance between don't overwork it. Don't sit there laboring on it forever because you want to get it done. And that's more important than it being the most perfect thing in the universe. But I also am trying not to rush myself because I feel like the first couple of pages, for whatever reason, just kind of came out real fast. And I'm like, okay, that's the rate I have to keep to. But I have to remind myself that while I have deadlines and I want things to be finished, this isn't client work. This is my own personal project. And I do want to spend a little extra time if I need to. Uh, and so I'm trying to strike the balance and not over, you know, belabor the point and, and redraw it a hundred times, but not rush myself either. So if it takes me a half hour, 45 minutes to do a panel, so be it, you know, I mean, I'll try to get a little quicker, but, but I want to, I don't want to rush myself. I want to draw it, redraw it a few times and then be like, okay, that's as good as it's going to get and walk away. But I want to allow myself that time, man. I am just restating and restating things. I like to over explain and re explain and detail explain. And, uh, what's really maddening is that, uh, not only is it boring for people to hear, but I then try to get other people to do that. Tell me the more of the details and restate it. And let's hyperbolize now. Good, you hyperbolized. Okay, well, then let's uh, theorize and be, you know, and not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone wants to talk uh, and think the way I do, which is strange, but there it is. <laughs> Individual thought and free will. Who'd have thunk? Well, I guess many people, but I digress. So, uh, did I even put up the panel? No, I don't think I did. Here it is. There it was. So that's the panel. Um, not super impressive, but whatever progress made, as they say, as I say, as I have said, and others as well. So uh, that's going to be it. It's The other thing is it's day 60, which I kind of alluded to yesterday. That's like 60% down. You know, now we're really more than halfway down. We're coming up. You know, it seems like 75 is, is like almost here. You know, it's like 59. Oh, I got a ways to go. 60, we're almost at 75, and that's 100, you know. But uh, it, when I put in on the thumbnail, I changed the five to the six. I'm like, ooh, that was significant. You know, changing the 51, two, three, four, five, those aren't that significant, but the five to the six, phew, power. 
So anyway, today was day 60. Well, that means... Babes, we've got 40 days left. Stripes and triangles. I have triangles everywhere. And stripes. Stripes. 